best of high end. Experience the beauty of audio and video. Maybe surprising answer, no. Of course, the LFE channel needs to be reproduced in the best way, and that is often a subwoofer, but it doesn't have to be. For example, IMAX is treating all speakers as full range speakers, and they don't separate uh, the bass and having an extra box uh, rumbling in the corner. They really want to immerse you with bass. Um, so they take the LFE channel and, and, and spread it all around, which is also another way. Um, but usually you have a subwoofer. Even though the subwoofer is a, is a strange word, because subwoofer implies that it's only for the sub frequencies, like something around 20 hertz or 30 hertz. Uh, but it's not like that. As we, as we know, LFE can cover everything up to 120 hertz. So it's not sub frequencies only. And if you look at some frequency responses of subwoofers, you often see this church-like frequency response with a peak around 80 Hz. So they're not really good at the frequencies below, and they're not really good at the frequencies above either. And that creates kind of performance gap between the front speakers or surround speakers and the subwoofer. So it's really important to look at the LFE specifications and then really look at is your subwoofer capable of doing it, or is it really only a a subwoofer with a narrow performance. So one thing is the frequency to look at it, why we need a subwoofer for LFE. The other thing is power, of course. So most subwoofers are active. Uh, it's, it's like adding a mono amplifier and the low frequencies eat a lot of power. They require a lot of power. So it's, it's also good to have a subwoofer with a separate amplified channel. Uh, so you have more bandwidth, more power left for the other channels. But is LV and subwoofer the same thing? No, but they kind of need each other. Best of high end. Experience the beauty of audio and video.